Mistakenly identified as a suspect in an armed robbery and he was bullied by some chicken shit cops. He ran for his life and they shot him in the back with an MP5 submachine gun. But right after Mikey got killed, they said he was acting like a caged animal and he was combative with the cops. They killed him twice. They murdered my friend in the street and they let him bleed to death 30, free, 30 feet from his wife. Then they tried to murder him in the media, right? They got the mainstream media out there telling lies about my friend, talking about his behavior and his clothes. In fact, he looked like a gang member and that's that, I guess, justified the way they treated him. I learned a lot today coming out here about your families here in Bakersfield. Your family is my family. My family is your family. We are family. We are family. I never knew anything about what happened to Daniel Hernandez until today. You had the guts to stand up and tell the truth about what happened to your loved one. And you told it in the right place. Because we're going to hear you here. Right? And I think about another young Hernandez who was killed, who was talked about today. Sonia talked about her brother. Right after Martin was killed, the city of Anaheim came out and lied about him and said that he was trying to kill a cop. But the entire community saw Martin surrender and drop his weapon and give up. And then get shot in the head by a cop who had a grudge. That's two different stories. But if you read one in the paper that says uh, an assailant or a gunman, what do they call him, a gunman, right, got killed by a cop, you dismiss it. You think, oh, well, there's somebody doing their job, and you keep on reading, go to the sports page, right, go to entertainment and find out something interesting to read. What we're doing here is preserving the truth. What are you fighting for? Sure, you're fighting for justice, but how are you going to get justice? With the truth. With the truth. What do they try to destroy every time they kill one of our loved ones? The truth about what they did. The truth about what they did. The media will lie for the cops every single time. Okay? Because they do business together. The DA will sign off on every single murder. Why? Because they do business together. Right? So what are we fighting for? We're fighting for truth. We're fighting to preserve these narratives as soon as we can. Because that's where justice is going to come from. So I came up from L.A. Because my friend was murdered in L.A. County. But I want to learn the truth about what's happening here in Bakersfield. So I can take it home with me. And I can tell my comrades and my family members in L.A. and Orange County what's happening up here. The truth about what's happening up here. Not the bullshit you read in the papers. Not the lies that they want you to accept. We're here to tell the truth. You know why we shut down the streets? Is that for fun? No! There's a lot more things that we could do for fun. There's a skate park right there. That's more fun than what we do. We're out here shutting down the streets so people will hear the truth. Right? We have to be family. It's not important, it's important enough that you know your truth. Learn someone else's truth. Learn everyone else's truth and tell it like it's your own. Because it is your own. It is your own. The best way to get the truth out there? FTP. Film the police. You know how you fuck the police? You film the police. You film the police every chance you get. Even if it doesn't seem important because you never know when they're going to squeeze the trigger on somebody. You catch that shit on video and you make them pay. You make them accountable. That's how they're going to start going to jail. It's already happening down in L.A. County. We're getting video on these cops, and they're going to start going down. Once one goes down, they all go down. So whether it's you guys who get the victory, whether it's these families who get the victory, we got to keep fighting because as soon as one of us gets through the door, guess what? We're all going through that fucking door. We're all going through that door. we got to stick together. we got to show up for each other. Bakersfield has always been so supportive of us in L.A. I see you hiding over there, Chris. Chris Silva got down for his brother. Gets down for his brother. Like no one I know. That's what you got to do. This becomes your life. You know why we're family? Because people in their own family think we're fucking crazy for doing this. Is that true? Is that true? How many of you got family that think you're fucking crazy? I don't think you're crazy. Because I'm fucking crazy too. Right? That's right. We're a family. This is what we gotta do. We gotta get out in the street for each other. Because they don't know what to do when we stand up for each other. When we drop all the bullshit, all the lines, all the borders, everything that tears us apart and keeps us from standing up for each other. 
All that shit gets squashed. You gotta squash your shit. You gotta click up to survive, right? That's where we are. You think you're on the outside? Guess what? You're on the fucking inside. This is a police state. We better stand up for each other. We better stick up for each other. And we better tell each other's truth. Thank you, Bakersfield, for having guts. Thank you, Bakersfield, for having courage. Thank you, Bakersfield, for having heart. I love every single one of your loved ones that you're losing, that you've lost, that you're fighting for. Because I want you to love my friend, too. I want you to love Sonia's brother. I want you to love Genevieve's son, Marie's son, all of us. We're here together, okay? We're here for you, and I know you're here for us. This is, this is the second annual of many to come until we get what we need, yeah. what we want. Once these cops start going to jail, maybe we can have a life again. Maybe we can go back to being who we were before this. But they're gonna start going to jail. They're gonna fucking go down for this, right? That's what we have to do. So we don't quit, and we don't give up on each other. Family doesn't give up on each other. Family believes in each other, right? And family stands up and tells each other's truth. So God bless you for having the guts to stand up in one of the scariest counties in the fucking country. Because all you got out here are cops and fucking prison guards. That's all you got. You guys have guts, okay? You inspire us. Keep doing it, and we'll keep coming. You keep standing up, and we'll keep showing up. Thank you so much. God bless you guys.